I'm Jessica Clark, and we are so excited to bring you Coming Out for Love, the new LGBTQ dating show featuring women who love women, premiering on Valentine's Day. And now I'd like you to meet four of our 16 amazing contestants. The party is just getting started. Erica Zadok. I am 27 years old and I'm from Los Angeles, California. I am a lesbian, 100% lesbian. I have been a lesbian for as long as I can remember. When I was in elementary school, I was making out with girls. I had girlfriends in middle school. I had girlfriends in high school. Um, when it got a little older than that, I had multiple girlfriends. Um, I've been in throuples before. I've been in open relationships, I've been in horrible relationships, I've been in love, I've had like great relationships. Um, I'm a relationship girl, I am never single. I don't like being single, I love talking to someone, I'm a really flirty person, so you can definitely count on me to always have some kind of girlfriend situation going on. Um, did I think I would still be single at this point with how much of a relationship person I am? But it takes a while to get to know someone um, and it takes a while to see if you know you guys are gonna be able to grow together. And unfortunately, I have not found my person yet, but I'm not giving up. And I just got out of a relationship two weeks ago, so I'm on the prowl. I am ready to be back in the dating world and I never thought I would go about it through TV. Um, I never wanted to be on TV. This is my first time auditioning for anything. Um, it wasn't really something that I was ever interested in. I'm kind of like a private person and um, I don't really like to be like judged by anybody. So it's a lot of pressure. And especially when you put love into it as well, like Love is a really fragile thing for me. Um, I'm really sensitive when it comes to it because it's something I'm really passionate about. And I've been heartbroken before and I've been lied to and I've been treated really bad. And it sucks and it changes a person when you go through someone who's just really bad to you. And I've really like learned what I don't want, what I do want and what makes a healthy relationship and what makes a toxic relationship. So I feel like I have all the sources I need to have a healthy relationship, to be a good partner. Um, my friends, I'm just really babying of them. Everyone likes to refer to me as like the mom of the group. I'm always taking care of everybody. I'm really thoughtful. Um, I'm a sweetheart and I really just can't wait to be married and have kids and to stop dating. So hopefully you guys can help me find a nice little lady. And um, this is a cute little love story in a really interesting way of um, meeting someone. Uh, it's definitely really scary. So, um, you know, it's, I'm excited, but also really nervous. Um, but more excited. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I've never done anything like this before. I'm super open to it and I'm super open to meeting someone and putting myself out there for the billionth time. So let's see how this round goes. Um, thank you so much for this opportunity. I hope you pick me. Hi, my name is Anna Paulette. I work in production and I'm a real estate student. I'm 26 years old. I live in New York City. I'm currently in California. This is Fluffy. <laughs> in New York, I actually go out to eat. I hang out with my friends. I invite them to my rooftop. It's a little more activities. In California, I'm always in the pool. I'm studying. I'm doing everything that I have to do to go back to New York, continue with work. I also at times host events with a group of friends and it's really fun. And when did I come out? I haven't come out yet. I think this is a perfect opportunity for me to do so. So we'll see how it goes. Um, when did I realize I was into women? 
I would have to say um, when I was five, I would see The Matrix at least once a day for like a year. And I would see Trinity and her amazing outfits and the hair and just, you know, that's where I kind of figure out something was going on. And what did my family and my friends responded to me coming out? Well, none of my family members know and only one of my best friends does and she's very proud that I took initiative to come to the show and be truthful with myself. My longest relationship would have to be one year or so. I would have to say one year. Am I open for a partner that is polyamorous? I am a huge, like, monogamous person. Like, me, 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 my, 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 my. Like, I am kind of jealous. So I think it depends. If I like the person that much, then of course I would be open to it. Am I a player or passive intellectual? I would have to say passive intellectual, but with like a little flirty on the side. <laughs> Hmm, how many partners have I had? Probably like three words best to describe a healthy relationship. I would say loyalty, trust, and respect. I think if there's no respect, there's nothing. Tinder date or let's meet up for coffee date? Totally a let's meet up for coffee date all the way. I never went out on a date on Tinder. I don't do Tinder. I'm like more of an old school kind of person. First date, coffee, lunch, or dinner? I prefer di dinner for sure. I prefer dinner with the candles and a little drinking and a little flirty. Yeah, that's a lot more of me. Fave mm. out actress. Angelina Jolie, all the way. I've always wanted to make out with her since I was a kid. Fave actress you wish was out. I think Lady Bell was out. She's out, right? She's out, yeah. She, she, she's out, so never mind. Fave lesbian novel. That would have to be French. Yeah, that. Wait, it's called Last Nudes. Last Nudes, it's about a female painter that falls in love with one of her six models and like paints about her it's very romantic if you're into romance i would definitely suggest it what does it mean to me to love a woman oh god i mean i immediately want to say you know that intimacy that connection that I mean, that's literally what I'm here, like, that's why I want to be on the show, like, that's what I want to. I want to make sure that what I'm saying is right, because I also haven't been honest, so that's literally why I'm in the show. I, I want to, you know? I want to know how, if I felt it before, if it's the same thing as I will be feeling it, and will I even feel it? I mean, that's, that's the exciting part of this whole project. Describe yourself in a word. Dork. Absolute, an absolute dork. <laughs> Definition of romance. Romance. Flowers, you know, that's more of like an intimate setting. Privacy, total privacy. I don't know why. If I'm gonna be with someone, I want privacy at all times, just so I can like, be present with that person. So that would be it for me. Why did I decide to submit to the show? I mean, it's about time that my questions are answered. So I'm hoping that with this opportunity that I have, I will get my answers. Hi, my name is Katya Davis and I am ready to find love. I'm excited, a little bit nervous, but I'm very ready. I am a singer-songwriter, and I work in the music sync industry, and I'm also a sound healer where I host sound baths for people as well. Um, I'm a triathlete and a soccer player, and I was born in Romania and adopted at the age of three and a half. 
then I lived in Switzerland for a little bit and then grew up in Palo Alto, California. And I'm ready to give love a try again. So thanks for having me. There's a place you raised in my heart when I get restless at night. And times I just wanna fall apart, don't wanna fight the good fight. Ground unsteady, almost a better time. Ground unsteady. I knew I liked women when I started having crushes on my teachers and on my coaches and just kind of really being enamored by them and wanting to be around them and just liking the way that they um, that their energy felt. Um, and then it kind of dawned on me one day that, uh, hmm, I might actually like women. Um, so I, uh, since then have given that a go and it's uh, certainly been an interesting ride. Um, so I'm definitely seeking, uh, something with one person only. Um, my longest relationship was a little over three years, um, and yeah, passive, a player, or an intellectual. Um, I would have to say I'm a little bit of all three of them, um, definitely depending on where I am at emotionally uh, and mentally. count on one hand your intimate partners. Um, let's just say that it's more than two hands and leave it at that. Okay, three words that I would describe for a healthy relationship. Um, trust, um, communication, uh, and respect. Can I throw in healthy communication? Um, so trust, healthy dash communication. I am not much of a reader, um, but I listen to books on audio um, and I hope this counts. Um, I love Glennon Doyle. Um, she is wonderful for me in my life and has been wonderful for me in my life. And so I've been listening um, on repeat to the book called Untamed. So does that count? <laughs> I'm Michelle Lenny, I'm 22, I'm from Clearwater, Florida. Born and raised here. Give me out. <laughs> First off, whoever thought of coming out for love is absolutely brilliant. I think that this is such a smart title. I don't know, it grabbed my attention immediately. I absolutely love the idea behind it. And finally, a lesbian bachelor, like... 2021, come on. Why do I feel like I'd be a good contestant for coming out for love is because I love competition. I'm a Leo. I am a full-blown Leo. Competition runs in my blood. I'm a low-key, I'm a hopeless romantic. Um, everybody who knows me knows that, and my exes know that, even though sometimes I don't come off as that. I'm definitely a hopeless romantic. And my first word as a baby was lesbian, so I'm just kidding, wouldn't that be pretty cool to say, huh? <laughs> when I fall in love, I fall in love hard, so I definitely think I'm a hopeless romantic. Oh, 
and it's fun. And people think it's like stupid, oh, like 22, you know, I'm home love. Like, yes, there's definitely possibilities if you find the right person. So here I am, hopefully this works. Whenever I watch these kind of like reality TV shows, like Are You The One or Bachelor or Love Island, like I have hope for it and I'm definitely very invested in it and I believe in it. So I hope that this is a show that I can come on and find love, you know? To describe myself in one word in a relationship, I would say I'm very romantic. Um, a lot of people wouldn't assume that, but I am hopeless, romantic, very vulnerable. That's a good one <laughs> for me. <laughs> Um, to describe myself in a word not in a relationship, I would say I am very outgoing when I'm comfortable and goofy. Very goofy. I've never thought about being in a polyamorous uh, relationship and I don't think I ever would be okay with that. <laughs> If I were to describe a healthy relationship in three words, I would say communication, honesty, and trust. Those are my three words. Check. So I'm definitely not a Tinder kind of person. Um, I, I don't go on Tinder dates. I don't even have a Tinder. I think that I'm more of a let's get coffee and watch the sunrise is actually what I'm doing right now. Finish my coffee and the sunrise is already up. So, but I'm definitely not a Tinder date. Well, I mean, not that I will, I don't have anything against Tinder. I just, I don't really like to text, I guess. Like I'd rather try to get a connection in person than like go through the whole like first date over text. And then when the first date comes, there's nothing to talk about, you know? I came out at the age of 14. Um, I think everybody in my elementary school could already guess by the way that I dressed that I liked girls. I, I don't know, I just always wore basketball pants and a big shirt and I always tried to look like more masculine as a kid. Uh, but yeah, I think that that's when everybody realized. My friends and family were um, all supportive of me being a lesbian because I think they already all knew. Um, I think everybody in my middle school, elementary school, everybody just knew, I guess I just gave off that vibe. And my mom was always questioning why I was never friends with guys. So I think that gave it away. And when I came out, she was like, yeah, I knew it. <laughs> I want to find love, that would have been better. All right, I think I'm out. Look at that lighting.